In this video, I show you the best voice changer for Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end to the full steps. And just a quick note as well, my Mac is quite noisy in this video, so it may be picked up by the mic. But let's go and get straight into this. Here we are on my Mac and let's go and jump straight into this guide. So before we go any further, I just want to say that at the moment there are very few voice changes to Mac. Hopefully that will change in the future, but at the moment I found a really great way to go and get a great voice changer, which can also be used on Windows. So this voice changer is actually called Clownfish. Now Clownfish is a really popular free voice changer as well. And what I'm showing you is, is that we can actually go and use it inside of our browser. So in this guide, I recommend you go and get Google Chrome. You probably already have it. It's a really great browser. So all you need to do to, is, is to go and open it up just like so. And all you want to do is go and search for the Google Chrome web store. So go and search Google web store just like so and go hit enter. Then all you want to do is make sure you come to chrome.google.com and it's going to say web store. So here we are. Then all you want to do is come to the top left where it says search the store. And all you need to do is go and search for clownfish. So go and search clownfish just like so. So go and press, press enter and make sure you go and get the official one, which is this one at the top. Um, it's going to go and be by the clownfish-translator.com. And it's also got reviews and quite a few users. It just proves that it's um, trusted. Then all you need to do to go and add it to Chrome is click add to Chrome. You're going to go and get this pop up here saying it's going to be able to change all your data. Go and click add. And as you can see, it's going to go and say add it to Chrome. It may take a moment or two to add it. So just to explain it a little bit further, how this clownfish in your browser is going to work is that all the audio input into the browser is going to be changed. So if we go and say use the Discord web version, which is means using Discord on our browser, we can go and join a voice channel and then we can go and use our voice and that's going to be have um, the pitch or the effect we apply. However, for example, if we go and open up a desktop app, for example, Discord on our desktop or FaceTime, the voice will not be applied. It's only applied to things we're doing inside of our browser. Now that's clear, let's go and head over to the Discord web app. So to go and use a Discord web app, all you need to do is go, go to discord.com and it's going to take a moment to load. Then all you need to do is go and click open Discord in your browser, go and click here. Then it's going to go and open up the Discord app in your browser. So many of these sort of communication channels have web versions as well, for example, Telegram, and I know many others do as well. So once you're here, then all you need to do is go and join um, or find someone you want to have a call with. So you can go and join a voice channel on a server, or you can go and have a one-on-one -on -one call. It's fully up to you. So as you can see, here I am. I've just got my main account in a voice channel. But all you need to do is go and join the voice channel. So I'm going to go and join it just like so. Uh, as you can hear, I just I joined that. I turn my volume down. So now we want to go and activate our clownfish voice changer. So to go and do that, all you need to do is go and press on the puzzle piece. And then you want to go and this is going to show your extensions. And then you want to go and find a clownfish just here. And it's going to go and bring up clownfish voice changer panel where we can go and choose the effects and go and enable it and disable it. So at the moment it's actually on, but we haven't got an effect chosen. So it's not going to be, it's going to sound normal basically. So now I'm going to go and choose the helium pitch. And then my voice is now going to sound helium inside of Discord on Chrome. So now the other people are going to hear your voice of that. If they can't hear anything, a really easy fix for this is just to go and refresh it. So if you're saying trying to test this out with a friend or something, just go and refresh your browser. It's a really great fix. And as you can see, it's just going to take a moment to reload. And then to go and change the effect, all you need to do is go and press on the extension puzzle piece, go and click on clownfish again. And as you can see, we could then go and change it to Atari or clone. Um, you can literally do any of these you'd like. And then once you're finished with it, all you need to do is go and turn it off. And now I just want to go and cover any fixes that you may run into. So a few common fixes are that you can't hear anything or the effect isn't applied. So as I just said a minute or two ago, the best fix is just go and refresh it like this. Or you can either fully re reload Chrome, like fully quit Chrome and then relaunch it. And then you could click on it twice and press quit to make sure it fully shuts down and then open it up again. Alternatively, you can also go and make sure the correct audio settings are being used inside of Discord. So to go and do that, just go and click on the user settings in the bottom left. Wait for it to load and then scroll down to go till we can go and see voice and video. And then you want to go down to input device. And then all you want to do is go and select the mic you want to use. If it goes and changes it to like sound, sound flower or something like that, just go and change it back. And you can always go and click let's check and it's going to go and test your audio. If you're still having issues with Clownfish, I recommend just uninstalling it and try reinstalling it. And if it still isn't working, just completely remove it. And that should go and fix your audio problems that you're having. And there we go, guys. That is how you can go and get a great voice changer on Mac. And it works really well. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.